this video is a video that I wanted to do for so long time, maybe for years, but I didn't really come to this and today I want to share with you a specific video about the big numbers rule. So this rule and this strategy is a strategy that everyone who knows me and everyone who talks to me ever knows that I am working only with this strategy in my stores. And in this video I will show you exactly why and why you should start to do this immediately without any risks. So first of all let's talk about what is the big numbers rule, the big number strategy and how it works and what is the philosophy of, uh, around this uh, strategy. So the big numbers rule or the big number strategy is a strategy which says that you should not spend time per product that you list in your store. You should go through the big numbers and just list a lot of products, see what works and expand there. In many other videos and I will show some links under this video in the description. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about different strategies. But under this video you will see links to other videos where I show how to use this big number store. Here I will show you the strategy itself. So, as I said, the strategy says that you shouldn't spend a lot of time for a product before the product shows you that this product is successful and worth your time. You should start and list a lot of products where the optimal price, uh, the optimal size or the amount of products for any eBay store is between 8,000 listings to 10,000 and much closer to 10,000 is the best for you. I want to show you what do I mean and what is the calculation of sizes. So let's check the eBay packages. So here we have four different eBay packages. Well, the first one is the starter, basic, premium, and anchor. About the others, that be before the 100, I, I even will not talk about this. Be because the stores that less than this amount of products even will not succeed or even will not make enough money to make this business work for you. So let's check the pricing per package. So we can see that the package of 100 products costs $5 per month, $250.22 then $60 and $300 per month if you pay annually subscription. The prices of AutoDS per package is $8, then it's uh, different between $200 and $400, this is the prices, and here you can see the others, the $10,000 and $1,000. Most of the dropshippers are afraid to grow to the sizes of 10,000 listings because their expenses will be so high. Their expenses will be 300 to eBay and 328 to AutoDS, which is really expensive. I agree with you that you shouldn't spend for a not profitable business $640, $30. But what if I tell you that to become profitable in this store size, it's really easy. And let's say why I see this with that high confidence. So let's calculate the price according to uh, the package size per 1000 listings just for the calculations and to compare between the different packages. For sure, if you will go to 1000 listings with this package, it will be even more expensive for you because the price per listing is higher. But let's put this on the side just to calculate for 1000 listings only with the store subscription without the extra fees that you will pay for the lower packages which will be even higher. So the price for 1000 listings for the first package will be $210. For the second one $174 then $108 and then it will be less Let's calculate how much is it. Take the price that, it, that this package will cost for 1000 listings, which is 63.6. I will divide it by the price of this, what will cost for the cheapest store, and let's see how, how much is it. It's 30%. So if I go for Uncle store, it will be 30% what it will cost for me for 1000 listings from what it costs for the cheapest package, which is 70% discount. Think about how much money you will save here. Let's compare it to the premium store. So if I compare it to the premium one, I will do 63.608. It will be around 40% discount for this package. Now let's see what I'm trying to say here. If we say that the average sale in AutoDS, this is what we found, is 21 
dollars per cent. This is the average price of products. I'm talking about general suppliers and about the total of all of the suppliers together. There are our suppliers where the price the prices are higher and usually people sell from their high ticket products like Home Depot where the average price is around $80 per product but let's focus on the general average which is only $21 which is really cheap products. The average sale price, in per, the average sale profit in percent is 10% per cent which is $2.1 profit per cent. Let's see how many sales we need, we need in any of these stores to uh, cover our fees to eBay and AutoDS. So the fees here, as we said, for all of the for 1,000 products will be $210. How uh, how I calculate this? I'm taking uh, using this eBay package and AutoDS package. So if I take the $8 to AutoDS plus $5 eBay subscription plus $8 for the uh, orders processor, it will be a total of $21. So $21, the price per listing is $0.21. The price of 1,000 listings will be, will be $210. How many sales do we need? If we go for a uh, sales of $21, it will be 2.1 profit per product, which is we need 100 sales for 1,000 products, which is 10% of sell total, which is really high. But let's check what happens with the premium store, for example. So to cover the premium store, we need 51 sales, which is much better. It's around two sales. It's a bit less than two sales per day per product. For the anchor store, we need only 30 cents per 1,000 products to cover our fees. What does it mean? And let me ask you a question, it will be better. Do you think, think one minute with yourself, do you think that with 1,000 products you can get one sale per day? The answer is easy, for sure yes. Maybe, and this is something that is really important to understand, maybe you will not get it in the first month, but after two, three months maximum of optimization that you stick with this method and you keep removing bad selling products and re-upload best uh, sellers from any supplier using many different methods that we shared in our other videos that you can also find under this video. So you will discover that it's really easy to get only one sale per day per 1,000 products. It means that for 10,000 products we need just 10 cents per day to cover our fees. So think about this. Do you think you cannot do 10 sales for 1,000 listings per for 10,000 listings per day? The answer is easy. For sure you can. You only need to stick with this uh, method, and you only need to keep removing best selling products and re-upload best sellers, which you can do with many different methods using the AutoDS Helper, the AutoDS Finder, and many other product finding tools or methods. I hope that that you like this video. I'm really a big believer and this is something that everyone who worked with me ever in any of my 35 stores or in AutoDS or heard our webinars know that I'm a big believer of this method and I'm working only using this method. And I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for our YouTube channel to get to stay updated with the newest dropshipping content. I'll talk about many other uh, strategies and product finding methods. See you in the next videos. Comment in this video under this video in the comments and I promise that personally I go every day and I will answer all of your questions.